Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of What's on the Bench. And today we actually have a bench, not a table. Can you believe it? I'm kind of converting my office into a little kind of RC studio. So uh, we've got a little ring light and uh, hopefully the lighting's okay in here. But my first video in the new uh, studio. So uh, but yeah, we're going to be taking a look at weathered trucks. So the first thing we are looking at is my Tamiya CC01 a Jeep Wrangler YJ. So you may have seen this if you've seen the community post a little way back uh, when I had this. It was just like a white um, body where all the, the paint had been kind of rubbed down by the previous owner. And I actually quite liked the look of it and I thought, do you know what? I think I might actually leave it like that and maybe it would be a good opportunity to weather it. So the first thing I tried weathering, as you can probably see in the background, and I'll show you that in a minute, is the WPL uh, C24-1. So that was the first thing we weathered. So I thought, right, let's give this one a go. So yeah, so basically we have just uh, weathered the truck a bit. So hopefully you can see it okay. So basically just what I've done So what I've done is, yeah. so I've used the Tamiya um, Weathering Master Kit. I'm no weathering master, but I've used the Tamra. I've used the Tamiya Weathering Master C Kit. So basically, it has in it like orange rust, gunmetal, and silver. So the only two colours I used was the orange rust and the gunmetal. So basically, what I did is I just watered them down slightly, used the um, the applicator that comes in the little box, which I will show you now. So a lot of people like saw online complaining about the, the brush saying it snapped really easily, but I haven't had any issues with it. So, uh, but yeah, so basically I just uh, got some water um, just dabbed it in and just basically gave it a little bit of um, weathering. Um, I've actually picked up another WPL C24, just the C24, not the Dash 1. If anybody's interested in seeing a very beginner's guide to weathering, then I could do a little video on the channel just to show you that. But basically I've just done some of the gunmetal around the body just to give it a bit of the grey kind of you know dirty old faded look and then used obviously different layers of the rust effect you know in different areas where I you know was trying to be as authentic as possible what it comes out like on camera and what it looks like I don't know uh, and it's actually quite mad because now you may be able to see some of these paints in the background I actually did my first model painting since I was a kid uh, only really simple, just kind of like painted the latches for the bonnet, um, painted the um, the lights and the door handles uh, and just the side steps and then weathered those as well so it didn't look too shiny. Uh, so that was quite cool. A uh, bit of flashbacks. Uh, I fitted the spotlights on the front, fitted all the lights, uh, I fitted a roof rack, uh, made my own accessories. Um, so just based, well, apart from the fuel can, bought that and, and the uh, tow wire. Uh, but otherwise, you know, the rest of the accessories I've just made, uh, put those on there. I need to kind of dirty them a little bit, I think, so that, you know, it looks a bit more authentic with the rest of the truck. Uh, and then I picked up some RC four-wheel drive mirrors that actually have the mirror strips, although this one's falling off at the moment, so we need to stick that back on. Did come with spares. Um, but yeah, so I picked up some little RC four-wheel drive rubber mirrors. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Um, I think... I think the accessories and the windows are letting it down a little bit at the moment, to be fair. Uh, but let me know in the comments what you think, you know, how, what do you think it looks like? Do you think it looks good? Um, you know, do you think the weathering looks decent? Uh, I've got some pictures um, that I'll see if I can put up as well, which, you know, might be a bit easier to see because I don't know what the light's looking like here at the moment. Uh, the Oh, you'll also notice as well, uh, I'm not running the... Um, original Tamiya wheels which I was running on the Pajero body shell you can probably see in the background I did pick up some new wheels and tires as well so I just got these off AliExpress um, they are just the I'm not sure how you say it all star hobby um, but they're actually quite sticky uh, they're actually pretty good tires um, I think they were super cheap um, but yeah wheels and tires they came little beadlock wheels um, so they're just one point I think they are one point five five inch wheels and then I went for I think it's 86 mil tires because uh, I didn't want any like loads of body rubbing and stuff but they're actually quite thin tires you can see um, so they're actually thinner than the standard Tamiya tires oh ignore my um, my rather uh, 
lazy way of sticking the rear wheel on. Um, I didn't have a bolt long enough, so zip tied on there. So look over that minor detail. Uh, as you know, if you've seen my other rigs, I'm a bit of a fan of stickers, so it has been a bit sticker bomb. Not too crazy. And uh, again, I picked up some different kind of crawler stickers off AliExpress. Um, so you know, put those on there. But yeah, I mean, I'm I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Um, you know, it's it's come out all right. So yeah, pretty happy with that. Actually did our first run with it um, at the beach on the weekend, um, did some rock crawling, and unfortunately I did actually smash the front bumper. Um, so it wasn't like that when I got it. So it must've been a bit brittle from being a bit old, you know, hard plastic, but yeah, I literally wiped that out on uh, on some rocks. And that was a shame when I lost it. I didn't see where it went, so I can't fix it. So I'll just basically do something over there to make it look like it's genuinely broken. So that was a bit of a shame. But yeah, did his first run on the weekend. Uh, was really happy with that. Uh, nice to have a different body for the CCO one because obviously we were just running the Pajero body before, so it's nice to have a bit of variety. Uh, and I've I, you know wanted a Wrangler for ages. I think they look really cool. So that is the Jeep YJ. Uh, let me know what you think of it in the comments. Uh, if you've got any questions or anything like that on on how I've made the accessories or how I did the weathering, let me know and I can always do like a video reply to go into a bit more detail. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with the Jeep. So let's chuck the Jeep out of the way and we'll get the WPN out so you can have a look at that as well while we're talking about weather trucks. So before we get into the WPL, uh, if you're enjoying the video, then don't forget to give it a like. Uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. So we've got our WPL C24-1, so a little 1 16th scale uh, crawler from WPL. Um, I did a review video on it recently and a couple of running videos. Uh, really, really cheap, you know, toy grade um, car, but you know, really good fun. I've actually been enjoying it, and I got some upgrades for it. So this was the first thing that I tried my weathering on. So you can see, again, I've done some of the weathering all over the body, done some of the rust streaks and stuff like that, and then I also the other day just made some accessories for it as well, which again, I was uh, just simple accessories, but I just wanted something in the rear bed just to give it a bit more character. Um, I think out of everything on this truck where I've weathered it. The um, tailgate is actually my favourite part. I don't know why, I just think it looks the most genuine. Um, you know, as this was my first one, you know, it was a bit of trial and error, and I thought, well, what better rig to do it on than, you know, the cheap uh, WPL? I mean, I paid like $50 for this with three batteries, so, you know, yeah, didn't have any issues. And then I also um, tried to do a bit of the whole foggy windscreen, um, so just, you know, made up a little template, and then when I clear coated it, just sprayed over that bit as well. So again, let me know in the comments what you think of the little weathering job on the WPL uh, C24. And uh, you'll also see I've got some purple wheels on it. So I did order some upgrades. Uh, I started fitting the portal axles, but I was having a couple of issues with them. So I need to kind of do some modifications to get them to work. Um, but I did order these wheels. They actually came in silver. I just painted them purple. Uh, anybody who knows me from my car days when I used to do track days and things like that, knows I've got a bit of a thing for purple wheels so I thought I'd give this one a little bit of my touch with the purple wheels uh, but it's got some tyres no foams in them um, so just a little bit more weight the tyres are a little bit better than um, than the standard um, tyres that came on it as well um, but yeah so this actually went to the beach the other day as well um, <laughs> it wasn't very happy about it <laughs> it does still work um, but the power switch is a little bit flaky now it did actually go in the sea, got proper hit by a wave and rolled over, almost got washed away. So uh, that video will be coming soon on the channel. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think of the little weathering job on the WPL. Uh, like I said, I used the Tamiya Weathering Master kit on both um, bodies. Um, I did the gun metal first on this one. I basically just, again, used some water, brushed it all over with the gun metal first, got a paper towel and just dabbed it um, to kind of give a bit more of a you know, not a brush effect. And then once that had dried, then I used some of the rust in different places. I did actually on the little brush that comes with it, you've got the kind of the more the foam brush. I did do use that to do some more of the kind of just the streaks that you see where it's not brushed on. It's just like a faint line. So I did do that. But again, if you're interested and you want a real, real, real beginner's guide on weathering, uh, then let me know. I'm going to order a couple more kits as well because uh, I'd like to get some kind of soot and some kind of mud effect um, ones as well. So if you've got any recommendations on any other kits that are, you know, better value or, you know, better than the Tamiya stuff, 
then drop me a comment and let me know because that'd be really cool. Like I said, I'm very new to weathering, uh, but I'm really enjoying it. It's been one of the favorite. Well, it's been one of my favorite things that I've done recently on the RCs. You know, getting into it. You know, a bit more modelling style. Um, so yeah, been been really happy with that. But yeah, so there we go. So that's just it for today. Just the Jeep YJ and the WPL uh, C24, our Hilux. One other thing I wanted to mention, guys, I now have my own merch. I can't believe I actually have my own merch. That's crazy. <laughs> it sounds weird just saying it. But if you do want to support the channel and you want to pick up some cool merch, you know, it can be anything like a key ring, a mug, a hoodie, a T-shirt. You know, got a few different things on there. I've designed all of the uh, designs myself. Um, so yeah, just check it out. I'll put a link in the description to the store. You may well see the little shop items appearing below my videos as well. Uh, so yeah, any support you guys want to share, that would be uh, amazing. Thank you very much. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know if you've got any questions. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And we'll see you on the next one.